I want to keep this a video very, very short. Uh, I'm talking about an earlier published schematic on my YouTube channel. That is this field effect transistor oscillator uh, that acts with crystals on its input. And I told this evening when talking about this schematic that perhaps you had to change uh, the value of these two capacitors to go to higher or lower frequencies. And then I mean higher or lower frequencies of the crystal. I tested this over and over uh, this evening and found that these two values of this field effect transistor oscillator are very good. So 250 picofarad and here 100 picofarad and you can say switch in all kinds of crystals going from low to high frequencies. 4 mega cycle, a 4 mega cycle crystal worked, 7 mega cycle it's the same, 8.8 .8 mega cycles, 14 mega cycles and even a 2 mega cycle crystal worked properly and only with these two uh, values, not only, but with these two values of capacitors. Talking about the coil here, it was explained properly in the earlier video. So let's see, let's look for instance, perhaps that's interesting to show, to a low frequency that this oscillator can bring. And that's a crystal of say 2.96 or so megahertz and the waveform is very very pure and you can see the frequency here it's 2.095 megahertz. Have to switch all the lights off to get to see that properly. Here, 2.09 megahertz. Waveform is very pure, no problems with that. And perhaps I can show, or perhaps not, I have to solder it in. Uh, the, say the highest uh, frequency crystal and that was approximately uh, 14 megahertz so I'm soldering that in now we have to do with the same value of capacitors and of course soldering is always a kind of critical anyway Ow. That's hot. <coughs> that was the solder. And now I connect that 14 point, the 14 megahertz crystal. I will not uh, swap it, swap it to the other side. Perhaps the say the connections will break, but you can surely see that it oscillates on 14. Lift up the amplification of the scope somewhat. So on 14 point. Uh, 3 1 megahertz and all with the same capacitors in the leads of the here the gate to the source and the source to the minus. Thanks for watching. I hope it was uh, not too much. And yes, you can say get to higher frequencies with this crystal oscillator. It's a properly working crystal oscillator. 
in the frequency band between uh, say 2 mega cycles and 14 mega cycles more about the coil in this coil in the earlier videos this is only a vlog